Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle from Kyra Raps here. Um, today, as you can probably tell from the title, uh, we're going to be making a web view app, as you can see from this code here. Um, most likely you're viewing this because you need it in your app, so let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to do is going to open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Make it a single view application and name let's just name it for the purpose of this tutorial web view um, all my future and present tutorials are going to be using storyboard uh, I just find it a lot easier using other than using XIB files and devices it'll always be set to iPhone unless I'm developing for an iPad which probably will never or almost never happen go and print go ahead and press next and save it to the desktop for easy finding Kate, okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the main storyboard and you're going to go to uh, objects and go ahead and try and find the uh, web view uh, display. So what this will do, it gives your view a web view and not just the regular view. Um, now what we're going to do is we're op going to open up the button right above editor close the attributes and others and you're gonna right click and drag just under interface make sure it's an outlet and we're gonna name it web view and let's just make it strong and we're done so go ahead and connect that and after you're done that it should be connected to the uh, web view now go ahead in the H file and right here we have the notes and and uh, as you see we just did this right here in the H file. You can close the uh, button above the editor. I don't know what that is. Um, and after we're in uh, web view, as you can see right here, it says synth synthesize. It automatically does that. So just under that. Uh, actually, it's already there, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take out these two lines, and now we have our view did load. So, uh, let's just go ahead and start right there. So, just follow along with me. So right here, it's just a super view did load because it's going to be big, guys. Do you believe? Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do ns string. Start full URL equals and then we're just going to put an at sign and quotations. So right here it says an NS string and a full URL. So what this means is it's going to be a full URL. So HTTP or HTTPS and then www. blah blah blah. So let's just go and write HTTPS uh, colon uh, forward slash forward slash www dot um, youtube dot com slash Cairo apps. Okay, and don't forget the semicolon. And now we're going to go ahead and write ns URL and star URL. I'll put this right here and I'll highlight it for you. Okay, so now we're going to do a equals bracket ns URL URL with string and it's just going to be the uh, first one here. 
and in here we're going to write uh, colon just delete that completely and write full URL and then close the bracket and colon semicolon press enter now as you can see down here this is all we have left and we are going to be done so let's finish it ns URL request and then a star request so we're going to request object equals bracket sorry bracket and then we'll just write a closing bracket just to get rid of those errors that you don't need um, okay now ns url request load uh, request this is where it's going to load the request here um, colon request object so request object and we already have the closing bracket so just semicolon it and go ahead to the next line now we're gonna go and write um, bracket web view sorry view web and not the equal sign I don't know what I'm doing today web view holy crap I am gonna explode here view web load request okay I totally messed this up we already have this here so this is actually not that and it's uh, request with URL request with URL and then we're gonna write just URL okay now we're gonna write web view load request colon request object bracket closed and semicolon and we already have the closing bracket so now let's just go over this here so we have an ns string with a full url which the full url is right here um, then we have the ns string URL, which is pointing to this, the ns with URL with string, full URL, which means it's going to be a full URL and it's going to be in the URL with string. Um, we I also forgot something right here. It's going to be ns URL request. Our request. No, I didn't forget. That's why I was getting the errors, because I already wrote it. So that's right here NS URL uh, request. Oh my goodness. Uh, star request object um, equals NS URL request request with URL, which means all of this right here is just pointing to this. Um, then we have right here is some errors, which we don't really want. Should still work, though. If it doesn't, then we're going to have an issue. Okay, undeclared uh, web view. What do we have in here? That is so uh, web view. Sorry. I meant to call it web view. I was right in the beginning. So now what we have to do is nothing. I know. So just go ahead and run it. And once this runs, we are going to get the simulator. Right here. Let that load. So as long as it will take. Okay. 
Now when this loads up, it should load straight to uh, my YouTube channel. And there it is. So, you can view, uh, this is completely your choice. You can customize this to have back buttons down here. To do that, all you need to do is scroll down in the objects and add a toolbar. And go ahead and add two bar, three bar buttons and a fixed bar button space. Actually, let's just go with the uh, flexible. And that will automatically do that for us. And just go ahead and open the uh, third button over here, just over view, and go to the uh, uh, the styles and stuff. Uh, go to a fender, and what I usually would do is I like using the rewind and the fast forward button as if like it's a go forward and a go back. And we also would like a uh, refresh button. So what you got to do now is you right click the button and drag it to web view. And this is go back. Click the button again, the other button, sorry. And drag it to web view and go forward. And click the button and drag this to the web view and we're going to reload. So now this is what it looks like before. You have no toolbar down here with the objects. We're going to go ahead and run that. And when it runs, we have the toolbar here and we can refresh the page. We can say I want to feed. We can go back. And it should take us... Oh, wait, no, I didn't do anything. Um, let's just see. Hold on. What page can we go to? There. Now, if we go back, it'll bring us right to uh, my channel. So that is it, guys. I will have the source code uh, down in the description. It's the full project as we just did here. It will include the toolbar. If you just want it, just go ahead and delete that if you just want that. The code will be in the .h and .m file, and everything's good. So please like the video, subscribe, and comment it for any video suggestion you would like. Peace.